Hotel language, travel English, English activation pack. Hotel English. Content of this English activation pack. In this English activation pack, we'll be looking at the language you need when staying or even working in a hotel in an English speaking country. If you travel abroad, you probably stay in hotels. To have a successful stay, you need to know how to reserve a room at the hotel, how to check in and how to check out, and how to deal with any problems you may have while at the hotel. Hotel vocabulary. Useful vocabulary for your hotel stay. Reception. Things you find at reception. The hotel reception is normally inside the main entrance to the hotel. Reception is also known as the front desk. The receptionist will be at the front desk to greet you as you arrive. The large area in front of the reception is known as the lobby and is the area where guests can meet up. You check in at the reception desk when you arrive at the hotel and you check out when you finish your stay. Luggage. What you take with you. Luggage is also known as bags or baggage. Your luggage is what you carry your clothes and other things in on the way to the hotel. Luggage can consist of simple bags, rucksacks, backpacks or other types of bags. Luggage can also be made up of suitcases of various sizes, garment bags which are used to carry suits or dresses and vanity cases which are used by women to carry makeup and other small things which might be needed on a plane or during a journey. Accommodation There are several types of accommodation available in hotels. If you're travelling alone, you might ask for a single room. If you're travelling as a couple, you would ask for a double room or a twin room. A double room would normally have a double bed, while a twin room would have two separate single beds. Families can ask for a family room. A family room will have beds for both the parents and the children. If you have family staying with you, you may ask for an adjoining room with a door between the two rooms. For the wealthy traveller or the traveller wishing to celebrate a special occasion, suites are available. A hotel suite comprises a set of rooms, including a bedroom, sitting room and ensuite bathroom and maybe even a kitchen. Most hotels offer a choice of smoking or non-smoking rooms. Room facilities. Depending on the price of the hotel and its number of stars, hotel rooms can have various levels of facilities. Many hotels have air conditioning, commonly written as AC. All hotels have curtains or blinds at the windows. There may be a mini bar in the room from which you can take drinks which you will pay for when you check out of the hotel. Some hotels offer room service where you can phone down to reception and order food and other items. Some hotels, particularly those by the sea, have balconies and some even have patios. Bedding. The beds in your hotel room should have clean bedding. Some hotels offer a choice of pillow filling, but even those which don't should provide clean pillowcases. The mattress may be soft or firm, or somewhere in between. Clean sheets will cover the mattress, and these are called the bottom sheet. When you get into bed, you'll cover yourself with either a sheet and blankets, or more commonly a quilt or duvet. Most hotels will provide extra blankets in the wardrobe, should a guest find it chilly at night. Beds. Every hotel room has at least one bed. After all, it's a bed you're looking for when you book into a hotel. Beds, however, come in a great many shapes and sizes. A bed for one person is a single bed. A bed for two people is a double bed. Double beds are the standard size bed for two people, but larger beds are available in queen size beds and the larger king size beds. If you have a baby with you in the hotel, you might ask for a cot. A third person sharing a double room or a twin room may have to make do with a sofa bed. Bathroom. 
bathroom. An ensuite bathroom is for the sole use of the guests staying in that particular room. A shared bathroom is a bathroom away from the bedroom and which can be shared by several guests. The bathroom will contain a toilet and a sink, shower or bath and possibly a bidet too. Most hotels provide towels for guests and some provide bathrobes or dressing gowns and even slippers. Where towels are provided, toiletries will also be provided. The small soaps, shampoos and other toiletries will be replaced as used by the housekeeper who cleans and tidies the room every day. Security Keys and safes Many hotel keys these days are electronic cards which also serve to authorise electricity use when guests are in the room. If you have money, jewellery or other items you wish to protect, you can place them into a safety deposit box or safe. Safes are often found in hotel rooms and can be free of use or may require a key which you can obtain from reception. If the rooms do not have individual safety deposit boxes, it may be possible to use the hotel safe at reception. Facilities These vary depending on the hotel. Depending on the class of hotel, various facilities will be on offer to guests. Internet access, gyms, spas and massage, swimming pools, bars, elevators or lifts, laundry services, shuttle service. Reservations Conversation Simulation Making a reservation There are several ways for you to make a reservation with a hotel. The most common way these days is online through a booking site or direct with the hotel. You might also need to make a reservation by phone. This conversation simulation will take you through a typical conversation to book a room over the phone or in person. You can choose from a number of different ways to ask questions or give answers. Check-in Conversation Simulation Checking in When you arrive at your hotel, you will check in at reception. This conversation simulation will take you through a typical conversation to check in at the hotel. You can choose from a number of different ways to ask questions or give answers. Problems Conversation Simulation Check-in Problems Things do not always go smoothly, so it's important to learn some language to help you deal with any problems you may encounter. This conversation simulation will take you through a typical conversation to deal with some typical problems you might have checking into your hotel. You can choose from a number of different ways to ask questions or give answers. Problems during stay Conversation simulation Problems during stay You might sometimes encounter small problems during your stay. It's important to have some useful language to help you deal with these problems effectively and without seeming rude or aggressive. This conversation simulation will take you through a typical conversation to deal with some typical problems you might have during your stay at the hotel. You can choose from a number of different ways to ask questions or give answers. Check out Conversation Simulation Checking out You've enjoyed your stay in the hotel and now it's time to leave. It's always good to have some language ready to deal with checking out of your hotel. This conversation simulation will take you through a typical conversation to check out from a hotel. You can choose from a number of different ways to ask questions or give answers. Activation Glossary This glossary contains some words and expressions that will be helpful to you at the hotel. You can hear each word pronounced 
to help you say it properly. Activation Pack What you've watched in this Video English lesson is the theory part of the English Activation Pack. This way of learning is passive. A more effective way to learn is through active learning. The English Activation Pack at British.com gives you the tools to activate your English learning. To get access to the conversation simulations and other activation material, buy the English Activation Pack for the price you want to pay today.